300 million naira. When that 300 million can do a lot in a society. All right, moving on now. The Inambicano issue is getting more naughty for the federal government. The House of Representatives had a committee interfacing with relevant security agencies to reduce kidnapping, assassinations, and banditry in Abia communities has called for the release of Mas Inamdi Kanu. According to the committee, Kanu's release will serve as an incentive for the people in the Southeast. Today, President Bola Tinubu does not have any dog in this fight, but um, he inherited this problem. And if he wants peace, he must reach an agreement with Namdi Kanu himself, with his agitation and everything, so that the federal government should reach an agreement. And if this man will be left off the hook, he should go and sin no more. But he must stop his agitation to carry out a referendum or enemies to divide the country. Um, the resolution of this matter through um, dialogue is not every matter that you can resolve through court processes. Neither can you resolve every matter by going to war. So, for me, I do not want to foreclose the possibility of Unam Bikanu giving up this struggle. In fact, I see a lot of um, positives in his most recent actions. You know, Unam Bikanu um, did a handwritten letter counseling the seat at home um, exercise on Mondays and at any time for that matter. So I believe that this is there is um, there is an opportunity there for us to further seek um, a resolution of this matter through dialogue. For him to have gone to that extent, it shows that he too has seen that there is no sense in telling people to sit in their homes and beating up people for going to work on Mondays or all days. So perhaps this signals that Nam Dikanu could be available to make peace on this matter. And I remember that Ashwa Jubola Metinubu during his campaign said he was prepared to negotiate with aggrieved persons in the Southeast. I want to believe that IPOP is an aggrieved body in the Southeast. And since Ashwa Jubu promised during his campaign that he will be willing to um, dialogue with them. I think the president uh, should put machinery in motion to put an end to um, Kano's uh, detention because I believe a political solution is possible and that is the point that uh, Representative Robin Agwocha uh, from Abia State uh, was making that look uh, let us release this man. If he's released, we are sure that there will be peace in that region. I know that Shwaju Mohamed is a peace-loving person. He's a man who believes a lot in dialogue. A lot of people thought he simply wanted to go to war in Niger. And you can see his most recent comments suggest that he's actually the one holding back his colleagues. Um, heads of government uh, in ECOWAS that look, let's pursue um, peace on this matter. And he, he actually told the Americans that that is what he's committed to. So I think the possibility of dialogue should not be foreclosed. Uh, both sides should be ready 
to dialogue. And if Kano will give up armed struggle and um, his commitment to balkanizing Nigeria, I'm sure that the federal government will be ready uh, to make peace with him. It's, it's not an impossibility. Nobody can get up in America today and say that he wants to break up America and expect that he won't be resisted. The American law does not permit any of the uh, federating units to try to get out of the union. You are going to be resisted. So, and that's how it is with our country too. Um, Kano has to give, give the agitation up in exchange for lasting peace. Do you see this Kano renouncing what he has been agitating for? I think it will, it will happen. It has happened already the way it is. Because like Mikio noted, he, he wrote a note. It wasn't typed, handwritten, saying the Monday sit at home should be called off. And then they turned it into Empowerment Monday, type of empowering people in order to get back to their businesses. It, it, it's a huge departure from where we are coming from, where he had been talking consistently about ensuring that the Southeast breaks away from Nigeria. So we're beginning to see some uh, good vibes, to use the language of the Gen Zs in what is happening now. If he has made this much commitment, then I think it's, um, it's going to, it's, it's, it's not impossible to talk him out of this completely. Because where he is now, there's very little he can do in terms of any agitation. And then also, his position is changing. Even the people in the Southeast are calling for, breed, for, for, for a breeder with the amount of money that they lose weekly to the sit at home, or which they have, now, which they have lost to the sit at home. It has become very clear that the agitation cannot be sustained. It can't. Otherwise, you are just going to ruin the whole of the Southeast economically. And you, as we know, there are some of the best businessmen and women around the country and even around the world. Well, now you can back down. <clears throat> well, the feelers we are getting uh, seem to indicate that the man has had a change of mind. The, uh, the weekly uh, sit at home has not ebbed the people that he, he was fighting for, or has been fighting for. Uh, although the man in uh, the bad boy in Finland uh, is saying that um, those messages that are, that are said to be coming from <laughs> his uh, principal mm. uh, are not, um, uh, but I think he, he has his own agenda. But you know what comes to my mind? You know, I'm, I'm thinking about the struggle in Niger Delta in the days when you had men and you had the faceless Jomobomo, you know, um, being the spokesman for, you know, it was just a fictitious name. You know, the first issue of might didn't solve the problem in Niger Delta until an amnesty was extended to them and you had a lot of militants, they repented. You, you know that Sinte Deke now, who is a repentant, uh, repentant, repentant militant, and he's doing a great, he has huge investment in agriculture in Nasarawa State. So I think that we can use other means. You know, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually disposed to the idea of releasing Kanu, uh, not the Kanu, if it is confirmed that he's going to tow uh, the path of peace and he's going to be an arrowhead of, you know, uh, maintaining peace and uh, safe of peace and all of that in, in his, um, in his um, uh, region. I also hope that his release would come. Those who are giving excuse that because um, what they call him, or is uh, uh, I mean they think he's being persecuted by the by the authorities. I think the, it's possible that they have they have a change of mind, you know. And the bad boy in Finland, we have no excuse anymore. You know, he can't say. 
Namdi Kanu is the reason he's doing the nonsense that is, is causing to happen in the Southeast. So, Julian, ultimately, moving forward, what do you advise this administration to do? The situation has to be watched closely, and um, people will say, oh, there are more important things on Tinobu's plate at this time, but if you keep an eye on this development, and if there is an opportunity uh, and a serious um, effort at dialoguing, then government should embrace it. There is no um, there is no problem that is in, uh, intractable. I believe that there have been other people across the world more difficult to manage than Namdekanu, that in the end, they sat together, government sat with them and uh, opted for peace. I believe that is um, a possibility. We saw what happened in uh, South Africa, where even the people killing one another, there was a sort of a power sharing that ensured that they were made vice president uh, and they stopped the black on black violence. Very embarrassing black on black violence in South Africa at that time. The Butelezi's men slaughtering um, ANC men. It came to an end at some point through dialogue, not uh, through the usual cutting of people's necks. It was, it was dialogue that prevailed in the final analysis. So, so those who always ask me, why are you asking for Kano's release? I'm, I'm asking for his release on conditions. If it uh, will agree not to take up arms against Nigeria anymore, if he will renounce his uh, Biafra agitation in favor of a united Nigeria, I will be ready to carry placard and and uh, work, work for his uh, um, his release uh, without the court exhausting uh, the process. This is this is what I've seen happen in other countries, and I believe that it can happen in my country um, even under the current administration. But Kano has to lead the way. Kano has. Kano's people have to be the ones demanding for it and promising that they will take certain steps that will ensure that government does not regret um, releasing him. All right. We'll take this break. When we come back, we're back.